What up, YouTube? This is your president, the Presidential Tourist, back with another video. And the title of this video, you already know what it's going to be about. I bought my mom a golf cart. She's been wanting one for quite a long time, you know, with her mobility issues and everything. You now she's been talking about it, I've been excited, just haven't been able to do it. And, you know, recent years, she's been having a lot of issues, and there's been a lot of loss and death in the last recent years, so I thought, you know what, this would be a good time to get it, cheer her up, and it, yes, it has. It's nothing fancy, I'm going to show it to you and uh, go over um, what's here. Let's get to it. I believe this is from like, this is an older one, like 96, 97. I got a really, really good deal on it. You know, a deal um, I couldn't refuse type of thing. But even though it's older, it's still in pretty good shape. And these things, if you take care of them, they'll last forever. Um, let me show you a couple things. Um, first off, the important part. Now these are supposed to be all new batteries uh, that was put in and I guess to replace these the kind of batteries I got would be about 600 bucks so they're all brand new nothing to worry about like new connectors and everything so all oh, that's pretty good the upholstery is in pretty good shape maybe it's newer which I wouldn't be surprised it is because after 20 years you would think there'd be more fraying and going on let me show you inside it's very simple it's not a fancy golf cart um i mean there's not really much to it there's the go pedal there's the brake you press that stop and then you press it that and all the way to park it of course there's the key the only problem with this golf cart i have so far is the battery gauge <clears throat> when it goes down it doesn't go back up unless you pull the panel off and then you um reconnect it so i have to get that replaced but they're on Amazon for like 20 bucks or less, so nothing, that's no problem. And the man who sold to me, he knows how to fix these things, so he said he would put it in, no problem. Oh, um, right there, there that's the lights. I think it only has lights in front. Of course, we got a couple cup holders. It only seats two, but <clears throat> let me show you back here. This is where you put the golf bags, right? Now I could have this section taken off and you can get like, um, buy a seat that you could put in back here. So I could seat four people on this if I wanted to. I was thinking about doing that. I don't know if I'll really need it. I have to think about it. But this is where you put two golf bags, put some extra stuff here. Another little car, you could put like a little cooler in there. Of course there's a step, so someone could technically, theoretically step on this and drive, but Now you have this mirror here. <clears throat> I don't like it as much as, say, a side one. Eventually you can get it by a side mirror for this, which I th really want to do. I think it would make it all safer for her when she drives it or when I drive it. So eventually I'm going to do that. Of course, you do have um, this windshield here. I'm never going to put that up. It's basically just to help with the rain. But you could put this up if you want, like that. And it connects to these clips. I don't really need that. I won't be driving too much in the rain anyways. And there will she. There's the lights. You could get bigger tires. But I am not going to do that. Because. <clears throat> those are like the smallest ones. I think they're like 8 inch. You can get up to like 10 or 12. But the bigger the tires the higher the step. And <clears throat> it's not the easiest for her to get in and out of this anyways. Now this is all electric. There's a charger, which I'll show you later at the end of this video, that came with this. This is an older charger, too. Eventually, I'm going to replace it, but I'll show you how all that goes. And you plug that in. I hope you can see that right there. Then here, let's see if I can get on the other side. <clears throat> so that's the changing the gears. See, right now, it's to forward. We have neutral, then reverse. So basically, you turn it like that. For reverse, They're like middle, I think for neutral, and then that for forward. And there's not really too much to a golf cart, at least this kind. It goes to about, he said about 10 miles an hour or so, so it's not as fast as some others. Now I'm not going to get into like the laws and regulations, but where I could drive and where I not, it's not going to go too much, um, too far away from the house. It all depends. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much to it. 
It's just a simple more golf cart to just go for a quick little ride and enjoy the nice weather like today. So, <clears throat> I'm lucky I was able to get this. This wasn't a very good time financially, but I know it would help her a lot getting around and make her happier. So it's worth it. Plus, I got a really, really good deal. I said I got an offer I couldn't refuse on it. So I didn't want to pass it up because I didn't know when that was going to happen again. It's not fancy, but she wouldn't want a fancy one. Neither would I. I don't need to get an expensive one. But I know some golf carts can go quite a bit. Uh, especially more newer ones. Uh, like I said, this is an older one, but... It's, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it is a car. Just like those cars over there. It's just a lot more slower and simpler one. She's very happy with it. And since she's happy, I'm happy. So I'm not complaining. I said I may make a few changes to make it a little bit better. I may put the seat in the back. And I may put a window on the side. Well, probably definitely the window. But I don't know. Maybe the seat we'll see. But yeah. Maybe I'll get a fancy license plate back here. <laughs> oh. And mom wanted to give it a name. She was going to have me pick, and I was, you know, I wasn't too sure. So she decided on a name, and she's going to call this name, or this cart, Betsy. Don't know why, she just liked it. She thought that was a good name. So here it is, Betsy the Golf Cart. Maybe that's what the license plate. Maybe I'll get a Betsy license plate. But okay. So, for all intents and purposes, another a vehicle, another car has joined... The Presidential Tourist Family Fleet. But okay. Any comments, questions, let me know. I'll show you the charger and I'll explain that um, at the end of this video. So I'll just attach it. And if there's anything else that I forgot to mention, I'll mention then. But okay. Any comments, questions, please put them below. And um, yeah, got a golf cart. Okay, thank you. Bye. Before I go, you could have like adjust this, but I just, mm, I still like having a um, mirror there to see behind me too. You know, in a in regular car, you have one here, but I'm more used to looking over there too. So that's why I'm eventually gonna do that. Who knows, I may even put one over there, that side. Oh, here's practice of golf etiquette. Let me show you, uh, show you a little bit of driving, see? I said it's in park, so. Oh, what am I doing? I gotta start the car. Start the vehicle. Start Betsy. And luckily, that's a very simple process. Um, just turn it on. There you go. driving with it. I should do that too. I don't really like filming and driving. That's why I don't do it very often. Normally I'm, really, I'm stationary or I'll have mom drive if I knew I'm going to be filming from the car. I just don't like doing it. I need to get the um, GoPro attachment. I can do some of that. But even then I wouldn't really do it a lot. I, uh, drive too far doing this because I guess I don't like um, driving and filming, driving and filming. I don't know how much of this driving is going to put on, but I don't really want to do too much of that.
amazing how quiet these electrical engines are. So it can be a little bit more noisier than others. Let's get on and show you where the charger and everything. Alright, here's the charger. Like I said, it's an older one. This is what you attach to the golf cart. So it's attached to the outlet. It's a what Lestronic 2. Of course, it's supposed to shut off after um, it, it fully charges the golf cart. Normally this will do about 25 amps when it's first doing it and then it goes slowly down until it shuts off. Definitely gets kind of loud when it's running. Uh, I guess you have to keep an eye on it. It does get kind of warm. Uh, the machine and the bit of the cord. So this is best to plug in directly into an outlet. Don't use an extension cord. I was I did that for like my first time, but it's not a good idea. It's not safe. So now I just plug it directly into the outlet. I still don't like leaving this charging by itself. They say you can, but I normally keep an eye on it until it does what it needs to do. But eventually I'm going to replace that because it is an older one, and uh, I think it's good to replace it. Though I'm sure it probably works okay. It has so far. Sure, well, you can read like different directions. Like I said, let's plug it into here. Of course, I charge up these bad boys. I would told the battery life, the life of this should be, if I'm lucky, about five years before I have to replace it. Which is something I'm definitely not looking forward to because. I said these cost, from what I'm told, $600. So basically $100 a piece. But that's something I don't have to worry about for a while, hopefully. But okay. That's pretty much it. Um, any comments or questions, let me know. Um, if you want me to do some more like driving videos showing off how it handles, I will do that. I only did a little bit. I didn't want to do too much. I actually have to give her a bath. Hasn't been out too much, but um, the little bit has uh, been out, uh, Betsy has. She's definitely gotten a little bit dirty. Now, these can be stored outside. I did that for a few days, um, but um, it's best to be indoors. So if you have a carport or a um, garage, I definitely recommend putting it in there. Better to be um, a garage and a car floor because it's still a car floor, you still like in, in the elements. But because if you don't, this is everything will just start corroding faster. But they're, they are made to be outside, they are made to get rain on. And I was told by the man who sold me this because he fixes these and he knows all about this stuff that I uh, try to keep this, these batteries clean. He says you could spray with water, be okay, but I might just wipe them down instead. I, Gotta be a little bit more careful. Just with the guard of this stuff, I have no idea what I'm really doing. So you know why I have corrosion. Alright. Okay. That's Betsy the golf cart. Any comments or questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody, bye. As I'm gonna charge it, why not just show you the process too? You know there's not very much to it. Plug it in. Plug in the other one. There you go. Yeah, it starts out, starts out about 25 amps. And as it charges, it'll go down and shut off. I didn't drive too much, so I shouldn't need a lot. We'll see. Okay. Very simple process, you know. It's like doing charging anything else. 
One other thing I want to add, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I told you this or not. It's been a few days since I filmed that video, but if you take these white caps off, you're not going to really be able to tell, but there's basically water in there. And distilled water. And I was told keep an eye on that and when it starts going lower put more distilled water in helps with them function of the batteries and all that so it's something else you have to want to keep an eye on now make sure you use distilled because it doesn't have the minerals in it because you want to put uh, regular water in there just want to add that to the end of this